in 1849, more and more settlers began pouring into the western states. So many, in fact, that local law enforcement could hardly keep up with the demand for more sheriffs. Wow, I guess that's why the Old West was such a dangerous place. They sound like big chickens to me. Indeed, it was the era of the gunfighter when unruly varmints roamed the land. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Johnny and Rod? The coast is clear. Let's do it. Uh, why are we putting wax on the floor? Because wax makes things slippery. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just wait till the lunch bell rings. So what did the sheriffs do? They were outnumbered. Uh, true, but they could always rely on the help of federal marshals and the U.S. Army. Nothing was more terrifying to desperados than the sound of a cavalry charge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it, Fred. <laughs> more or less. And nothing's more satisfying to me than the sound of the lunch bell. Now the fun starts! <laughs> What'd I tell you? There's nothing like a nicely waxed floor! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you boys have certainly done it this time. I mean, this stunt, it's... it's... It's a 335. Unauthorized use of a janitorial product? Uh, excuse me? It's in the school code of conduct. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I thought you said a 435. Huh? <laughs> Raising bees in the girls' washroom? Uh, uh, and that's obviously not what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> This is a serious offense, punishable by... Two days' detention and a letter of reprimand sent directly to their parents. Exactly. Uh, so I'll see you after school. Thanks a lot, Lydia. Yeah, thanks, Lydia. See you later. Very impressive, Lydia. How do you know so much about the school code of conduct? I read it every night at bedtime. It's the perfect cure for insomnia. I see. You know, this gives me an idea. How would you like to take on a very important job? Hey, Lydia, what's with the badge? You joined the FBI or something? Not exactly. Wait a minute. That's a hall monitor badge. That's right. I just got appointed, so you might say there's a new sheriff in town. Hold it right there, boys. I've been getting reports of water balloon activity around here. You wouldn't know anything about that now, would you? No. Really? Then what's this? Gee, how'd that get in my pocket? Nice try. By the way, Billy, I notice your shirt's not tucked in. That's a 213. What are you talking about? I always wear my shirt like this. Not anymore, you don't. But since we're friends, I'll let you off with a warning. Don't you just hate that? When people get a little taste of power and it goes right to their heads? I sure do. Yeah, by the way, I finished that marble statue in your honor. Hmm. The eyes are too close together. Do it again. Oh. Oh, I've got to hand it to you, Lydia. Since you became hall monitor, tardiness is down 60%. Wedgies have been all but eliminated. And I was particularly impressed with the way you broke up that spitball conspiracy. Well, what can I say? It's all in a day's work. By the way, is that your car parked in the loading zone? Oh, gee. So it is. Uh-huh. All right, people, break it up. This is a school hallway, not a spring social. Hey, you, no slouching. And you, shine those shoes. Lydia, don't you think you're going a little overboard here? I enforcing the rules is one thing, but now you're just bossing people around. Hey, I do whatever it takes. It's time everyone realizes that I'm going to clean up this school from top to bottom. <laughs> She's quite amusing. Yeah, yeah Phantom, amusing. Now, wait a minute. Aren't we at the bottom? She wouldn't dare come after us. Besides, I looked through the school code and it turns out there is no specific rule against altering the basic fabric of reality. 
Yeah, but on the other hand, those library books are way overdue. My next mission is to crack down on people with overdue library books. <gasps> oh, well, uh, we can just hide from her, can't we, Phantom? And if they think they can hide from me, I've got news for them. I'll track them down no matter where they are. That does it! I don't mind her picking on defenseless children, but when she turns her sights on the Phantom, she's asking for trouble! <laughs> like a town right out of the Old West. Uh, I'd say about 1880, and it's a fairly authentic reproduction. The architecture, the clothes, the stagecoach. Ah! <laughs> uh, dirt seems pretty authentic, too. Stop! Stop, <gasps> thief! Good job, Lydia. Look at the size of that guy. Where'd you learn to do that? My parents always say I watch too much TV. What's going on here? This girl just single-handedly foiled a robbery. Well, as mayor of Rhino Gulch, let me be the first to shake your hand. You know, this town could use a new sheriff. What happened to the old sheriff? Oh, he, uh, <coughs> had an unfortunate industrial accident. So, are you interested? Well, why not? Lydia, are you sure this is such a good idea? You don't know anything about this place. Oh, I'll make an excellent sheriff. The key is to be tough, but fair. Uh, you'll never keep me locked up in here. You guys are making a big mistake. A big mistake. Is it just me, or does he look kind of familiar? My brothers are gonna come and break me out, and then you'll be sorry. Oh, I'm really scared. You should be, because you just locked up Ichabod Harwood, a member of the notorious Harwood gang. Claude? Todd? And Axelrod. No, oh, that's nice. They're like a family business. No, <gasps> these are the most dangerous desperados west of the Pecos. They don't look very dangerous, Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> Although they do have very poor table manners. But they find out the new sheriff has locked up their brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. If Lydia went a little power crazy as hall monitor, just imagine what she'll be like as sheriff. I'm afraid your horse is double parked. It's worse than that. What if some real desperados show up? Mrs. Snodgrass said those guys didn't like the law, let alone detention. Let's go see if we can find out what happened to the last sheriff. Howdy, sheriff. Care to try some of my new root beer? Sure. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Did you water it down? Well, maybe a little, but that's no crime, right? That'll teach you to sell inferior beverages in my town. Horses were first introduced to North America by the Spanish in the 16th century. In the Old West, they were a key form of transportation. <laughs> Oh, although they were not without their disadvantages. <laughs> hey, you! Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, hello, Lydia. You do have a license to teach in this town, don't you? Oh, um, well... Uh, hmm. And here we have the interior of an authentic Western jail cell. Excuse me, sir. What happened to the last sheriff? Oh, same thing that happens to all the sheriffs. He wound up on Boot Hill. You see, 
there's this gang of outlaws known as the Harwoods. And they don't take too kindly to sheriffs, uh, especially them that puts their brother in jail. Ooh, we better find Lydia and Warner. Ha-ha! <laughs> too late! At this very moment, a gang of desperate outlaws is bearing down on your little friend. The Phantom? What? Oh, for Pete's sake! Wake up, you fools! Ah! Oh, why must I forever be saddled with dim-witted accomplices? <laughs> yeah, it is funny how you keep getting stuck with the dopes. Lydia, you have to resign as sheriff right now. There's a gang of outlaws on their way, and you've locked up their little brother. Don't be ridiculous. The only outlaws around here are in jail. They're not all outlaws. Some of them are regular people that you arrested for no reason. Are you questioning my authority? What if we are? What are you gonna do? Put us in jail? That was supposed to be a joke. Lydia, don't you see what you're doing? You're, you're letting the power go to your head, just like when you were hall monitor. Eh, tell it to the judge. The judge is in here with us! How dare they talk to me like that? I'm the sheriff. Well, who needs them? I've got this whole town all to myself. Nothing but peace and quiet. <gasps> I'll raise four. Let's see now. He folds, and so does he. I win again. So the way I see it, well, I'm just doing my job, and they should respect that, right? Howdy! Sure is quiet around here, isn't it? Uh, that's cause you put the entire town in jail. Yeah, well, they deserved it. Maybe. Maybe not. But now you got no one to help you fight the Desperados. Desperados? What Desperados? Uh, we're coming, Ichabod! We'll get you up! Uh, okay, guys, I've thought about it, and they've uh, decided to give you a pardon. If you admit that you were wrong, I'll let you out. No way! You're the one who's been abusing her power and bossing people around. Yeah! Until you apologize to us, we're not going anywhere. We have the right to remain stationary! Fine. Stay in there. See if I care. Ah! She is forlorn, forsaken, isolated, all by her lonesome lonesome. You know, you really know how to ruin a mood. <gasps> uh, are you the new sheriff? That's right. And who are you? We're the Harwood Gang. We're here to bust our little brother out of jail. And just plain bust up the sheriff who put him in. Wow! What a funny place to hang a hammer. <laughs> Ah, uh, what are we looking at? I see a little bunny in the clouds. <laughs> I think she tricked us. Oh, uh, well, I guess that means we have the town to ourselves. We can do anything we want. Absolutely anything. Uh, let's go get a snack. Get a snack? What kind of villains think about food at a time like this? <laughs> you got me. <gasps> you double dipped! I'm not touching that bowl now! I don't even want to think about where your mouth is being. Guys, there's a band of outlaws in town. Real desperados. What are you waiting for? Let us out. You can't just let us out unless you're willing to admit you were wrong to put us here in the first place. Okay, I admit it. I went a little crazy. Okay, a lot crazy. I let the power go to my head. All right, you're off the hook. Uh, okay, folks, I'm sorry I 
put you all in jail for talking too loud and stuff like that. But the point is, we have to work together to fight these guys. So who's with me? Uh -huh. Sorry, kid. You're on your own. Don't worry, Lydia. I I've got a plan. We'll need three buckets of red paint, 110 planks of wood, 20 pounds of nails, two hammers, four paint brushes, a long ladder, and... <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at what I found. Now, let me guess. Another stick of beef jerky? All right, you. The party's over. You won't be terrorizing this town anymore. It's okay, Lydia. These gentlemen are just having some fun. <laughs> Quiet, Fred. It's three against one. Time for a showdown. <laughs> According to Mrs. Snodgrass, nothing was more terrifying to Western bad guys than the sound of a cavalry charge. But can you reproduce it? No problem. Now, what the heck was that? Oops. Sorry. Uh-oh, it's the cavalry. Let's get out of here. Now we need some place to hide. Yoo-hoo, boys, over here. Best root beer in town. You locked him in the saloon? That's not the saloon. with the James Gang. Ah, uh, where's Ichabod? Uh, only half a day in jail and he turned over a new leaf. Last I heard, he got a respectable job sweeping elephant cages in a traveling circus. This jail will never hold us. We're the most nastiest, meanest, most toughest outlaws the West has ever seen. <laughs> now, what's so funny? It's pretty funny because, well, I've heard of another desperado who says he's even nastier, meaner, and tougher than you. Oh, yeah? Who? Oh, somebody who calls himself Earl P. Sidebottom. He says he's the fastest gun from here to Phantom Hill. What? Well, if we weren't stuck in this jail cell, we'd track him down and teach him a lesson. Oh. Well, now that I think about it, I really never saw them break any laws. Oh, good point. Maybe we should let them out. No, no! They must have done something wrong. Littering? Jaywalking? Are you sure you'll be able to track him down? Don Tootin. Claude here once tracked a slug in a snowstorm. Rat tracks. In nacho cheese. They lead away from that crate of root beer and head this way. Rat tracks and nacho cheese leading away from... Root beer? I, um, uh, got thirsty. <gasps> oh no, they're on their way! Let's see them break through that! Yeah, that's pretty good, Phantom. But what about the back door? Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, look! She's not chosen salsa! Careful! Ah. <laughs> You're getting salsa on the sky show! Wow! That dip had quite a bang to it! <laughs> hey, you three! Loitering in the halls is a violation of the school code. I'm gonna have to give you a detention. Just kidding. Truth is, I resigned as hall monitor. You did? Yeah, 
I realize now that I was getting carried away. I guess the more authority you have, the more careful you have to be about abusing it. I see they found the replacement. Well, they sure did. And it's someone who will probably never let the power go to his head. <gasps> P.U. Good old Fred. I've never seen the hallways this quiet. <laughs>